Hey guys, welcome back to Flatpak Effects. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this Vox style timeline. Now for all the Flatpak Effects crew members, you can download all the project files and media down in the description below. So the first thing we're gonna do is just create a new composition here. And I'm gonna make this one 1920 by 1080, about 10 seconds here in length and then hit OK. Now I wanted something for the background, so I found this map here online. And so I'm just gonna drag this here into my backdrop. Now what I want to do is add a bit of a tint because I like all the texture in this map. So I really wanna retain a lot of that detail, but I just wanna sort of darken the whole thing down. So the best thing to do is just add a tint here over the top and what I'm going to do is swap these colors. That's going to basically invert it. But by using the tint, we can basically control the level of the black or the white color here. So if we just sort of drag this down, we can just reduce the intensity of that. The other thing I'm going to do is also add an adjustment layer over the top. And I want to add a gradient ramp. Now these are the settings here that I've used here on screen if you want to match to my colors. But basically I've just kind of created a gradient which sort of goes across here. I've added a bit of scatter to go across. Then what I'm going to do is set this to be an overlay and that will help basically reveal that map underneath. Now if you need to, you can come back in here and drag up on that map layer. So say it's too dark, I can just drag up to sort of reveal less or more of that image. So this way it just kind of gives it a nice little tone over the backdrop there. Maybe drop this down a little bit more on something like that. Now next I wanna create this timeline over the top. Now a really simple way to do this is just to create a really large comp. So what I'm gonna do is create a new composition but for this one, what I'm gonna do is leave the height, but I'm just gonna drag out on the width. So I want to basically leave this as it is and then just create a really wide timeline here. And now what I can do is grab my pen tool and I'm gonna create something. I don't want any fill, I want a bit of a stroke and then sort of add a line which sort of goes across something like that. Now, just so we can see what we're doing, I'm gonna drag that comp straight here on top so that we can kind of see where it's sitting. Now we're gonna animate this in just a second, but the first thing I want to do before we do that is I want to drag in my first image here and I'm just gonna scale it down. Now the great thing about this comp is that we can basically work without animating it. So I'm gonna create another little notch here that's sort of this white color and sort of drag that underneath that main timeline. And I'm also just going to add a little text box here. Now with all of those, what I'm just gonna do is drag down on them. You can change the properties to whatever you want down here with your text. And I'm just gonna sort of line this up, something like that. Now I wanna line this image up here. And to that image, what I'm also going to do is add the tint effect. And I also want to swap the colors there. And for this one, what I'm going to do is just drag down because I don't want it basically as prominent. And maybe for this background, I'm just gonna slightly drag it up. Now that kind of creates this sort of black and white image here. If you don't like that, you can kind of swap the colors or if you wanna add a bit of color into it, you can easily just kind of add a bit of color into the backdrop. However you want to do it is fine. Now next what I'm gonna do is come back to my main timeline and now we can actually start to add some animation in. Now what we're gonna do is animate it using that main composition. Now if you like these sort of animations and you wanna learn more about how to create all different types of 2D animations, then check out my Animation Master course down in the description below. In that, I walk you through using After Effects from an absolute beginner right through to creating some really cool and interesting looking animations. There's graphs, there's maps, so many different types of animations that you learn how to create. I've had hundreds of students go through this course and get excellent results. You can watch and read all of those testimonials via the link in the description below. If you're just starting out or you're interested in really developing your skills in animation, then definitely check out my Animation Master course. So what I'm gonna do is hit P on my keyboard, create a position property and a 
scale keyframe, hit U to bring those up. And then I want to start by just sort of zooming in here slightly on this timeline, something like that. And then maybe across here, what I'm gonna do is also add just a very slight zoom. And you can sort of move these so that they kind of align a bit better. If I move, go back into my main comp, I'm gonna grab all of these layers underneath and just move them across. Now what I can do with that is sort of use this to adjust it to get it into the center. If you don't, if you don't do that, you can also just highlight all of these and line your camera up with that center point. Move this off center. So we kind of get something that looks like this. And then I want to start animating my camera across. So something like this. So as it comes across, sort of does a slight zoom and then it sort of moves across on my timeline. I can speed that up or slow it down by dragging in and out. Also make all of these easy ease. We kind of get a bit of animation like this. We can also turn on motion blur for those layers. Then I want to start sort of animating these in. So I'm going to sort of create a position property here. Another one here. Also add a opacity keyframe. I hit you to bring those up. And if I sort of move this off center here, it'll sort of move back into position. So to have it fade on like that, I can also speed this up by dragging these in and making them easy ease. That just kind of adds a little bit of this animation. Now that we've kind of got one there, what we can do is duplicate those, move them up here as a group, and then move this across. And when you're moving them, you'll have to line your playhead up here with all of those position keyframes and then move the whole thing across. So if we go across on our timeline, I can sort of move it up here. So we kind of get something like this. Now what I can also do is just off center that. Move these ones down because these can basically stay on screen the whole time and maybe duplicate those numbers again and then zoom in here and move them across. So we kind of get two numbers there. And with this image, what I'm gonna do is just drag in my next image. So I'm just gonna select that image holding Option or Alt on my keyboard, replace that image. So we kind of get that and then duplicate that image, line my playhead up here and move this one across. And then I can drag in my last image holding Option or Alt on my keyboard to replace that image. Maybe for this one, we're gonna just swap the colors. That looks a bit better. And maybe also for this one as well. And then maybe off center these so they kind of come in at different times. Also scale these up or down, depending on the sort of look that you're going for. So we kind of get this animation sort of playing out like this. Now, once those next ones come in, what I'm going to do is then add another scale keyframe. You'll need to create one here as well. And then I'm just going to basically start doing a very slight scale in while moving this up. So kind of get a little effect like this sort of zoom, something like that. Maybe create an end point on my timeline, trim to the end of that comp there. And that's looking pretty good. You can go through and sort of make any adjustments that you want, add different images or mess around with it. So the last part is really just adding the flavor to this whole thing, is really just adding those details like this blur effect. And also I've added this texture, which sort of went over the top. Now source this video here, which is sort of of this dust cloud or whatever you want to call it, smoke. And I'm going to overlay this over the top and I want to just scale this right up. And if I off center this, so it sort of starts here, what I can do with this, I can change the blending mode here to something like screen. And then you can also just scale down on this effect depending on the sort of look that you're going for. And what I also did was I added this blur effect. So I created an adjustment layer 
And I came up here and added the lens blur. So I'm just gonna add this on, scale this up slightly. And I only want it to sort of affect certain areas of my image. So what I did was I just grabbed my pen tool and I just sort of created a random sort of cut out here. I find the more random it is, the better. And what you're going to do is come into those mask settings and just invert that. And then you can basically just scale up on this feather. And that kind of gives it this really interesting sort of blurred focus effect. It sort of really takes this whole thing to that next level, makes it a lot more interesting overall. The last thing I did was I created an adjustment layer here, came up to posterize time added that over the top, scaled that down to 12, and that gives it that low frame rate sort of look, just really takes that animation to that next level. And that's how you create this effect. Now, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also check out more videos just like this over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.